Welcome back, everybody, and today we are going to be talking about Rit. If I can spell it, there we go. Rit and Vision. So this is Art with Ryan, and we do art uh, through the online art market. So what we're looking for are two things. One, does pri art have prices? And two, do they have an uh, artist submission statement? So right off the bat, we can see right here that there is a phone number. We can find a address of the gallery. And here is the website. So we're gonna go ahead and dive on in. And we're gonna hit writ and vision. Okay, so again, we see phone number, uh, address here, written vision, rare books, and fine art. So it's got two things already that it is saying that is a uh, rare books and fine art. So contact us. Let's see what we got here. Contact us. All right. Here is gallery, Ryan Ross, rare books, Tracy Kramer, finance director. All right. So, okay. So there's a little bit about it. All right, about written vision of fine arts gallery and rare books dealer based in historic downtown Provo, Utah. We exhibit and sell original fine art, buy, sell, con consign rare books and documents, ho host public events from book releases, author signings, to roundtable discussion lectures, to public art classes and private receptions. Written Vision is a meeting place of art and artifacts, books and ideas, curating and collecting history and culture research community discuss and education. Uh, pri uh, priorities are Brad Kramer, gallerist, public education director, Tracy, okay, same people. All right, here is a list of their events. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we can see some of the, you know, events that have happened here um, that uh, by kind of some of the events that they host. And this gallery looks like they host a, a lot of events, which is a good thing because they are trying to get foot traffic. So as an artist, that page right there is super interesting because you want to see that they are constantly getting people in. So here are some of their gallery events. Tyler Swain, still, hashtag still life portrait, um, holiday group show 2016. So let's go through, let's pick, let's do the Tyler Swain self portrait. First thing right there, right here, folks, $1,400 for this beautiful artichoke. Now, that is exactly what we're looking for. Bell pepper, cantaloupe slice, Granny Smith apple. These are all $1,400. A little stylized for me. But very, very interesting. Okay, let's click on something else. Let's go to this thing they have. Okay. Oh, right there. Six. $650, $600 for these, $13,700, $4,700, $1,170. I like that shape. All right. Um, excuse me, have you been to the gym lately? <laughs> All right. Fishers of people. I really like this. Now, if you look at the fish down here, you can see that there are people in it. And I like that there's both male and female um, imagery here. So it's not just, I like that. God loves everyone. Let's look at this one here. Ike Bushman. Okay. University of Alberta. There's something about him. So... That looks more like an installation. Oh, most of these look like you, you can find the price of uh, the work directly on their website, which I really like. That is a wonderful thing. Um, now I wonder is, is this just the stuff that's left over and available or is it, um, 
everything. Oh, look, we uh, that's the answer to my question right there. So this is right here. This one right here. This Kathleen Mc, uh, Maxfield Conley sold. That's exactly. So I'm loving that I, there's both the available as well as sold on here. Oh, Jeff Pugh, that cow. Oh, it's so good. So good, Mr. Pugh. Um, but I, you can see that this is a pretty good gallery. I would recommend um, shopping here. I like it here. No, I don't know how you would submit to this gallery. I don't know. I would imagine that if you go back to About Us and you look at this Brad Kramer right here, um, I believe he would probably help you understand how to how do we say this um like get to where you need to go to submit but um that's where all i can really say but there is a phone number as well so you can always call and ask all right so that's been art with ryan and writ and vision i give a thumbs up to because they at least have prices on their work and to me that's the most important thing more people need to know how much they're going to spend on art then if they need to contribute, like, if they're an artist and they want to, you know, be part of this art community. Well, again, thanks for joining me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell above. Again, thanks for joining me. And today's episode was about writ and vision in Provo, Utah.